Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is going to be a quick video about doing crackle. Now, I, use, I do crackle in many ways, but I'm going to show you one way right now. And this is using, because I get this question so much because I have a video or two uh, old ones. It's using Elmer's school glue. Now this is glue all, use what you have, um, but a white school glue. I will be doing videos with uh, Mod Podge and um, that'll be a video coming up. So what we did here, I'm gonna show you, look at the crackle. Now down here I did it so you can see, like you can get like light, like maybe you don't want as opaque or you know as crackled so you know i only did it very light right there and then look at this so this is fantastic now i'm going to show you what to do when you crackle and you know you're starting out and you're like oh i'm trying trying till you get your your, your unique uh way of doing it um and you get the feel for it i'm going to show you what to do don't throw it away okay okay so let's do this first so i'm going to take some of the glue and i like to squirt it out like that's probably way too much but i like to squirt it out and then i like to take um a brush uh this is a little damp which i really don't want but let me see if i can get it but i mean look how cool this looks Use it as a background, you know, if you want to do that. And I'll show you what I did to get that. Or down that way. Gonna look cool. Okay, so I have my brush. Like I said, it's just whatever brush. You can use whatever brush. And I'm dipping it in. Dipping it in. And I like to go both sides. Both ways. And then let's do it here. I just like to go like this. I like to do one swipe. Some people will do, you know, more. Um, if you want it thicker, you really can't see it too well, but if you want it at least thicker uh, crackles, just go once. If you want it a little uh, thinner, you can push a little harder or go over it. I'll go over the bottom part a little bit more. So you'll be able to see. And then what I like to do, see, I can see it where it mended there. Okay. And then I can, you can pull it up a little bit if you want, put some more, you know, as much as whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to crackle. And then what you uh, can do is wash your brush off, which I'm going to do right there. You want to leave it dry for a second. You don't want it fully dry, but you want it dry enough uh, that it's kind of tacky. So while that's happening, this is one that I did and you can see. You can see it's thick because you can make the mistake and put it on thick. So something that you can do is you can see that I swiped it coming this way, right? So what I'm going to do is let me click my right light on and see if that helps a little bit. It's going to dull it down a little bit. Let's see if it's not as bad. So what I'm going to do is turn it, right? So this is the way I did it. All these lines. I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to take some white paint, whatever color you want. I'm using white so you can see it. Um, use whatever you have. And I'm going to do the littlest drop. Boop. I mean, you see how little? That's how little. And then get a dry brush. The bigger, the better. This isn't necessarily what I want. So let's see. All right, we'll just do, we'll do this one. But you can see, I mean, I mean, you use what you got, right? You use what you got. And then I'm going to go in, not wet. You want your brush dry. And I'm going to tap it that way. Tap it this way. Didn't know you were getting musical theater. And I'm going to hold it up here and very lightly. You can even um, like kind of tap it off a little bit. To, you only want a little bit. Whatever color you're using, very lightly hold it and drag it. And what you're going to do is pick up. So you can save anything, believe me. And what it's going to do, look at this, it's magical, I'll tap and tap and tap and I'll do a little bit of a heavier hand by pushing down right here so you can see. I always say start off light because you want to see what you're getting, you know what I mean? But this is pretty cool too, pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. 
okay? So a mistake turns into, look how pretty. Come on now. You're not watching me just because I'm beautiful, right? Look at that. Look how pretty that is. So don't worry. There's always a way to fix something. So that's what happens. Okay, so now this should be, this should be tacky. I'm going in with blue. I'm going to just kind of wipe. It's really not going to matter. But I'm going to go in. I'm going to put both sides with paint. And I like to hold it because I, I feel for me, I have RA and I have fibro. So I hold things very tight because of my hands. I don't know why. It's just something I've always done since I've, you know, had to deal with that. So I like to hold it back here lightly. And I started over here. So I'm just going to lightly take it down. And you can see when that happens, you either like it or you don't. So if you don't like it, I like to turn my brush over and I'll go over it a little heavier. Go back in for more paint if you want. I like this little scrunchies down here. You might not like scrunchies, so go over it again. You can see like right there. I'm going to make it a little thicker. See, just went over it. Um, push it thicker over here. But you want the glue tacky. You don't want it dry. In my experience, please don't write me and tell me, you know, this, that, the other. Okay. This is what I'm doing. This is my experiences and this is what I'm going to do. So I think I got it all. Yeah. Now, if I go up and down like this, you can see it's like pulling some of the glue, not a big deal. Okay. So I'm done. So let's do this for now. I'm going to leave this out for a second though. And then I'm going to take my heat gun. And I'm going to just go over this. Now, you can use your hair dryer as well, okay? I know I'm kind of, my camera's kind of like going on where you're at today, but it's okay. So watch the magic happen. Watch it happen. Now, I am a girl who loves distress. So sometimes I like to just leave that heat gun on there. Um, and it gives you like these bubbles and then you can push them down and get like this other kind of look. And that happens with the glue. And this is going out to Carla J because she asked. I have many of you ask, but that's the name that's on my head right at the moment. Okay. I'm going to just get up here. Now, remember, the glue is going to uh, dry clear underneath, but it's going to take overnight. It's not, you're not going to get it all completely dry with the heat gun, but you're going to get it sure dang close. Okay. Look at that. Look at this. I'm going to show you. Now, like there's a bubble here. I just like to give it some a little bit of loving because he doesn't like to have a little bit of loving. Okay, so let me lift this up and show you. I don't know why I have it. Maybe I should turn it this way, Cal. What a thought. Look at that. How cool. And you can see like this. I love the scrumbly kind of look. But again, you can go over it and, you know, get better, you know, straight cracks if that's uh, what you want, what you want, you want. So now I'm going to show you one last thing you can do. Well, surely that isn't the way. Okay. We'll go back to the way we were. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take, I'll just use this. We're going to use a little bit more of the glue. Well, might need a little bit more. Just a little scrumble. Okay. And leave that right there. Let's go in. Gonna get it. And I'm gonna take one swipe and we'll do it up here. And I'm just gonna go across. Go across. I missed there because it's go across. Turn your brush if you need more. That's why I load both ways. Because if I need it, I don't necessarily have to go back 
this way. I don't have to um, always go back to the palette as much, I guess. I don't know. You do what you want to do. It's all you, baby. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do there. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave that for a second. Put that in the water. And then give me a little bit. And I'm just using your regular folk art blue, uh, true blue. Any Madonna fans out there? Do you remember that video? It wasn't one of my favorites. But I do enjoy me some old Madonna. Okay, so I'm going to leave that go for a second. And look at this. This is dried. I mean, come on. Look at that. Now, I am the, I love taking brown paper and making faux leather. It's one of my favorite things to do. Look how cool. You can do it that way too. And do some faux leather. Look at that. And it has texture. Oh, delicious. All right. So we're just going to leave that get tacky for a second. I don't necessarily want to wash my brush off at the moment. Now, I don't know if you can see or not, but let me hold this down. Right in this area here, I held the gun a little too close and too long because it's a heat gun. I don't have a hair dryer hooked up here uh, to do, which would, wouldn't necessarily do it as quickly, but, uh, you know, burn it as quickly. But I burnt it, but I don't care. It, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it still happens. What are you going to do? So I'm going to go in with my brush. I'm going to push it in there on both sides. Push it real good. Okay, now I'm going to swipe it this way. So I got it. I'm holding it up there again, very lightly. Drag it. And I do have a little hole there that I will have to concentrate on a little bit better. There we go. Let's get this divot, 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 divot. Okay, now let's just wait. I'm going to put that in my water because... I am known for ruining brushes. Okay, so I'm going to give that a second, and I'm going to hit it with the gun. And let's see what happens. I just love, I, I love playing around with this stuff. I mean, look at this. Look at the different looks you get. And this is, like I said, white school glue, no big deal, you know. And a lot of it is done, how, how do I want to say this? Like, a lot of it is done by trial and error. A lot of it is done, like, Oh my goodness, I'm so surprised. Look what happened. Look what came out. Um, and that's the fun of it. So, you know, keep that in mind too. It's always fun. Oh, gonna do this real quick. Oh yeah. Move it around so you don't worry about getting crackles or bubbles if you don't want them. Now, I might have put it on a little thick there or didn't leave the glue there to dry. Not worried about it. But what happens is you get these cracks that are going both ways. And it just, I just love it. And you can layer up again. And of course, you let it dry all the way. You see how we have, they're going the opposite way. They're going up and down. Now, like I said, if you feel like playing and you're like, oh, I'm not going to worry about this right now. It's hard because it's on there. But like this area right here, it's being a little bit of a pain. So maybe I'll go in with a little bit more of my glue and... I see, you can see here, it's starting to crack. It's going this way. So I'm just going to very lightly take it down. And I'm not going to get any more. I'm just going to kind of play with what I got. If you want to add the teeniest bit of water, you do not want it too runny, but it will activate it just like it will acrylic paint, just to give you that little bit more yeah i'm pretty much out of it so so then we have that and then i will go in with some paint and let's see what we got
And the thicker, you know, it's the thicker, the thicker. Thicker cracks. Let's see what this does. I don't want to go over that. Okay. Let's see what this does. Sometimes I have better luck if I don't hit it with the gun. I don't know. Over this area, it's like, I don't like to feel like doing anything. Okay, it happens. There you go. That's why I like showing you because then you know it's not just you. And what I would what I would do in this area right now, if it's not doing what I want it to do, I'm gonna hold it. And it's doing it in little areas, but not as much as I want it. So I'm gonna hold this on here and get bubbles, which I'll show you. And wherever you see it starting to bubble, keep that gun there, that heat gun, or hair dryer, whatever you're using. And then you can take your finger or your paintbrush, whatever you have, and just kind of scrape it up a little bit. Because why not use your nails that you just painted, right, the other day? I think what happened is I let the glue dry too quickly before I put the paint on. And that's okay. All right. So I'm getting some texture there. And then what I would do is go in with my white paint. And you know what's fun is you can die cut. Um, I just want a little bit. You can put these in your die cutter and die cut them. And then I'll just go in like this and pick up. And my brush was a little wetter than I enjoy. But what I will do is very quickly go with my brush, wipe it so that paints off, and then kind of go back in before it dries. Sometimes it's just drying. Go the different ways. I'll watch and don't be afraid you gotta play how are you gonna know and like I said Mod Podge ones will be coming up as well because so many of you ask for that as well I got some good stuff coming up this week so okay so let me show you see how you just get that little bit of texture there and it looks distressed. Like you have distressed jeans or a fabric that's distressed. Oh my goodness. So, you know, if you do a full page of this, do it in sections. This might even have been a little bit too big of a section for me to do um, just because, you know, I'm not uh, very quick and you can still peel more of this off. I can, see, oh God, I can sit here all day. I'm like one of those peeling persons. Anyway, um, but you can see, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. And like I said, this I love, but for distressed, how fun, but do it in little sections if you're doing a whole page, but imagine cutting this, like finding like on your, um, die cutter, or if you want to do an ATC card and you're like, oh, I really dig this as my background, do it. And then if you want these cracks, but you want to add another color on top, maybe you want to add a light blue. Maybe you want to add an orange, you know, very lightly. You just want to do a very light dry brush over and have it go the opposite. And, oh, it just starts to build and be beautiful. So I hope this helped some of you guys. And I hope this answered some of your questions. And like I said, there is always ways to fix things and use them and not throw them away. Um, maybe we can work on how to fix these from just curling up. What book is this? Just curiosity, because I know some cheaper ones don't. Um, uh, Strath, the Strathmore Mixed Media. Hmm. Paper for practice. Well, it ain't helping me here. So, I mean, if I went to do mixed media on this paper, what? I mean, this is what it's going to do? Okay, then. But, yeah, so that's it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Like I said, I will be doing a Mod Podge one this week. And kind of similar, the same kind of thing. Again, this is glue all. You can use your 
um, which I can't find mine at the moment, but you, oh, there it is way up there. The school glue is fine. It doesn't matter. White glue that you get from the dollar store, experiment. Um, don't, you know, don't fret too much. And like I said, screwing up gives you great uh, opportunity to, you know, go a different way, get a different thing. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. You can hit me up anywhere. You can email me, Facebook me, Twitter me, Pinterest me, Instagram me with requests that you want to see. You can leave it down in the comments, share me everywhere. I appreciate it. And if you just found me and would like to be, please click that subscribe button down below and the bell next to it to be notified when I upload. And I just love you guys so very much. Progress, not perfection. Let's play and have fun this year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.